War at home, war abroad. Is either one under control? The latest on the investigation. Congress passes a sweeping new anti-terrorism bill as the international hunt continues for the terrorists behind the September 11th attacks and for the source of the latest wave of bioterrorism. Congress, the White House, and the Pentagon have all been mighty busy this week, but what more do we know after a week of shifting messages concerning health, politics, and war? Today, the president signed a big new anti-terrorism bill that would expand the government's ability to track down terrorists, but at some cost. This is what the president had to say today. This is a two-front war. It's a two-front war. And it's a war we're going to win on both fronts. But make no mistake, the best way to make sure we protect our homeland is to succeed by bringing the terrorists abroad who try to strike us to justice. Barbara, what's in this new anti-terrorism bill that would presumably help investigators get to the bottom of all this? Right. There's, a, there's a lot in this bill. Attorney General John Ashcroft absolutely loves it. He said, the hour this thing is signed, I'm going to instruct law enforcement how to use the, these new powers. Some of them are being able to trace uh, email or email messages from place to place, making it easier to surveil people for terrorist purposes, for um, intelligence purposes. One of the interesting things I think we're going to see that will immediately affect this investigation is the sharing of information between the intelligence gatherers, the CIA, the NSA, <clears throat> and other places, and the FBI. What they've done is they've lowered the wall between the two, which means, for example, as one, as one um, high-level Justice Department person said yesterday, we have files, the intelligence people have files that we are ready to, they are ready to hand over to the criminal people. What that means is they can take that and suddenly they have a lot of new leads.